Hello again, this is Ryan with BetterTattooing.com. We're in the garage today, we're answering questions. And uh, this is when they got emailed in. It is, do pigments expire? Yeah, that was super fun, wasn't it? All right, well, do pigments expire? This is kind of like a weird question that we'd ask because some bottles of pigment, depending on where you purchase them from, they'll have an expiry date or a lot number or other, other things that, you know, are required for shipping, use, consumption, whatever you're going to be doing in the EU versus the US versus whatever you're in Texas now. Do pigments expire? So technically pigments don't expire. Depending on the source of your pigments, it can be acrylics, they can be AZOs, they can be mineral bases, inorganic solids, it can be a ton of different things that you know, dyes, right? So the pigments usually, like the actual individual color components inside of it, these little bits that are going to be injected into the body or used in paints or anything else, those don't expire, right? No. But the carrier fluid or solution that is actually used to move these into the body of the happy person who's going to be getting the tattoo, hey, those do. Why? Because what are most of our carrier stuff that we got here? We've got, you know, distilled water, right? Distilled water, water. We've got sometimes, I'm not even going to go into the surfactants. Once again, I've got to do an actual video on surfactants and their good and bad stuff. So you have surfactants in some pigments, not all. Um, we're going to have the actual pigment that's being used, right? We'll have additives past that. Sometimes there'll be a biocidal antifungal agent. So we'll go biocidal, uh, anti, anti F, which, you know, we can put anything as like we put alcohol, rose water, um, some people put Listerine, vodka, you know what I mean? So like you'll have these these things in there and then sometimes they'll just have like a thickening agent, which you'll have like glycerin, right? Glycerin. Yay. Glycerin. It's vegetable or animal based or synthetic or otherwise can go bad. It can age. That's where they're going to put a lot of these things inside of here. These surfactants or additives or biocidal antifungal agents is to try and increase the shelf life on these things. So the minimum safe efficacy for most products that are going to be released is like they're still going to be safe and or good up to 70%. And I'm kind of pulling it off the cuff. I might be wrong. So let me know if I am. But it's 70% like still viable, right? There's a 70% chance that it's like still good. Once it gets underneath that, that expiry date, right, is going to come into effect because it's just like not good to use it past its like maximum safe efficacy time, right? So yeah. To answer the question on this one, we get, do pigments expire? And this actually came from a tattooer. He's like, they don't expire. I can just add them. No, dude, the pigments don't expire, but all the shit around them does. It's just silly. I mean, come on. Like, think about it. The pigments don't. And unless you want to boil it down, pull that stuff out, put them in a glass bead roller for like 24, 48 hours, reconstitute all that pigment, remix it, re, you know, like rebottle it, rebrand it, re, rebadge it, all, just... It's stupid. Just go buy some new stuff. If it expires, throw it away. I mean, it's not a big deal, right? This isn't a big deal. Yes, pigment's expensive. But if you can't afford it, you need to up your game, work harder, survive a pandemic apocalypse. I don't know. Anyways, do pigments expire? No. Do the stuff they're mixed to expire? Oh, yeah, it does. Anyways, it's Ryan with BetterTattooing.com. Talk to you later. Oh, oh, oh.